Hello, this is EJ Webbs. In this video, we're going to do the battle again of what's better, three Dollar Tree packs or one booster pack. Ultra Prism Edition. So I just picked up uh, four Dollar Tree packs at random from Dollar Tree. And I picked up a booster pack from Walmart. Just going to get this out of a sleeve. And Garatina pack art and the Garatina. There we go. And of course, I'm going to start with the Dollar Tree packs. So, yeah, I've had a really bad pull in this series, but Cribs Innovation was both a tie because both had no points to them. They're really hard to open because I only got three cards in them. But, yeah. And then Burning Shadows, uh, the booster back one because it had a reverse rare in it. So, let's see what this has. So there is a Gibble, Fairy, Fairy Energy, then an Alolan Sand Slash, which is a rare, I think. Yep, a rare. That's not going to do it, though. That's not going to get any points. But it's nice to get a rare, because you aren't guaranteed rares. So there's a Magmar, Cranidos, and a Cresselia Hollow. All right. So it looks like I picked out some good Dollar Tree packs so far as I do not have that card. So Dollar Tree now has a good shot in winning now. So I know that I won't get shut out this opening so there's something. This pack will not open. So there's a Turtwig, Steel Energy, and then a Stunky. So there's our first dud pack of the Dollar Tree. They're really hard to open. I don't want to bend the cards. The you know Dollar Tree packs are kind of hard to open because of the amount of cards in them. There's a Snover, Missing Clover, and then a Piplup. So out of the packs we got a Lone Sand Sandslash and a Cresselia Hollow. So as so let's see if we get anything good out of the booster pack of Ultra Prism. Or else uh, the Dollar Tree packs will win. One, two, three, four. And you all four and two. There's a Crow Gunk, Turtwig, Roselia. Gibble. And then a Lightning Energy, Grugly, another Gibble, Grottle. There's a Float Soul, which is just an uncommon. And the rare in this pack is a freaking Frost Rotom. So I hate Ultra Prism because of this bitch. Oh, what the heck? This pack didn't even come with a code card. I don't, I don't think it came with a code card. I just pulled off a fire memory. So I was, I, cause I, I never look at the code cards before I reveal them. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, that's weird. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep, I'm checking my seat because that's where I put the code card when I open the pack. There's just no code card in that pack. It's all right for me because I don't really use the uh, code, card, code cards, but you know, it's it's bad for you because you don't uh you don't you don't uh get a code for this video, but. 
So it looks like the Dollar Tree packs definitely win because we get a Cresselia Hollow right here. Also a rare, which is also not guaranteed. So yep, this time it goes to the Dollar Tree. That's a very rare error to see in an ultra uh, in a booster pack because I know Primetime Pokemon had that before, but yeah, that's that's very strange. Where you don't get a code card in a pack. Yep, I'm not the only one though. So, oh well. Hope you guys enjoyed this version of Dollar Tree versus Pack Battle. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.